Hey, I just took a shower and I haven't done my hair. Can you see this? This is what I come out. <laughs> this is what comes out right here. This is if I don't do anything, this is what it looks like. Hey, everybody. It's Monday and we're live. We're doing a live shave. We haven't done one of these in a long time. And uh, it's one of those situations where I got a bunch of stuff here I need to do. Like I've got like four or five razors that have been sent to me that I need to talk about and review. And I got a bunch of... <laughs> shaving creams and things. Hey, Noah. Hey, Edward. And um, I, I just didn't feel like doing any of that stuff. I just, it was one of those days, you know? One of those mornings where you're like, ugh. And you <laughs> hello, Netherlands. Hello, Rob. And uh, so I'm not going to do that stuff. Thomas Shipoff, good to see you, Charles. Salman, Vancouver, England. Alfonso, hola. Aziz. Oh, there's Donald Younger. Oh, boy, Donald Younger. The man behind, oh, where is it? Hold on, hold on. The man behind Cold Fusion Wet the Face. Hey, Greece, the Oklahoma Bachelors here. Chris Lopez, Matthew Holmes, Chiramoshi, Nathaniel Blodgett, Vancouver, England. Yeah, there you go. Ireland, Philip Roche, Keith Wilson, Sore Knees, Thomas Shipoff, Trevor James, Hussam Alotobai, Taibi. Oh, gosh, that was bad. Samuel, Sachin, Eric, everybody. Boxing, boxing virus. Interesting. So, anyway, Donald Younger did that. But. Here's what we're gonna do today. I need to, hi, howdy. Hey, Iceland, wow. Ian, Alfonso, Michael. I need to do my hair first. So I took a shower, I need to do my hair. Craig, good to see you. Nico, Germany, man, we got the whole world. We got the whole world in my bathroom right now. That's kind of weird. My day is still going. I'm kind of in the middle of the day, Aziz. Uh, what time is it here? I don't even know. It's like, uh, it's almost one o'clock, I think. And uh, yeah, my hair looks fine. I know, I'm just, you know, it's, I need a haircut and I can't stick it up right now because it's too tall. I'm losing the battle with gravity. So when it gets to this length, Tunisia, Carthaginian angel, Carthaginian angel. Um, sore knees is showering. <laughs> you got a waterproof phone in there. Uh, you know, I do have clippers. My mom gave us this big thing of wall clippers, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to uh, put some mood. This is what I do to do my hair. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm no, definitely not a doctor. Barbasol forever. That's right. I can't. Something, something. Cyrillic alphabet for life. I always have a can of Barbasol right nearby. So what I do is I put a little mousse in my hair. Here it is. Suave. So I put. Now, it depends on how much hair I have. And uh, right now it's long. And so this doesn't do too much. But this is what I do. So what I need you guys to do is tell me what I'm gonna shave with today. What razor, what shaving cream, what brush, what aftershave, all that stuff. I need you to tell me. You know, I've got all these razors. I got the Black Beauty, I got the, the Golden Fat Boy, I got the Normal Fat Boys, I got the Fat Guy, I got the Leaf. I've got the uh, you know, Grandpa Grungy, of course. Uh, the 99R. I mean, I know everyone, people say I look like Ed Helms. I guess, so. I, I don't know, maybe I look like his brother or something. Creme de Barba, that's a good one. I got the Murica razor. I got the, uh, uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Will I do a dollar store shaving video again? No, probably not. I think that was it. But I am going to do a Walmart shave. I'm going to do a Walmart shave where I go there and see what I can find, what's the best um, shaving stuff I can get from Walmart. Black Beauty, 99R. Uh, yeah, it's very good at slightly aggressive. So if you can handle the aggressiveness, then, uh, then do it. So we're getting Verhulda Hand. We got the, the fat boy, Nicolas Cage. I only, I only look like Nicolas Cage because, uh, yeah, I don't go to Cornell and I'm not in an acapella band. <laughs> I get that too, Tim Allen. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. I just comb my hair, you know? Now, normally I, I spike it up like this. I gotta do it from both sides, right? And in the middle, it does that old Bob the Big Boy thing, you know, Jimmy Neutron. But right now, it's too long, and so it just, like, starts to go weird. So, in this case, I just do this. Until I get a haircut, I'm going to do this, all right? So I comb the back forward, but see, even that's too long. Even the stuff on top. <laughs> hey, everybody. The new pearl. What's the pearl, Donald? Huh. All right. What made you in love with shaving? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think I just started using uh, uh, vintage razors and 
I like the idea of it. And then it was like, well, I like anything vintage. Um, yeah, I'll go back to work later, Emmanuel. I was already there. I'll go back later. And uh, I like retro things. I like vintage things. And that really appealed to me. Actually using... Uh, no, I don't have a King C. Gillette yet. Actually using a vintage razor that still works beautifully. I love that. I love it. History, baby. I love history. And I'm doing my hair. So this is what I do. I put mousse in it. I comb it back to a certain amount. And then... I open up a hole in the ozone layer with this suave. So I do this just, just a little bit, just to hold it. Nothing much. Because when I was in middle school, I absolutely hated my hair back in the 80s. I, 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 no one taught me you know, what to do with it. Um, I, so for years, I didn't know what to do with it. And it wasn't until a few years ago that I started changing my hairstyle. I always had my hairstyle like this for years. You know, It's a kind of that thing where you just stick with what you know. And so I did, and uh, I got tired of that. And so I learned how to, uh, I think I was actually dressed as, as Elvis for Halloween a few years ago. And uh, I was like, how do I do a pompadour? And uh, I looked that up, I was like, oh, you can oh, use mousse, okay. So anyway, no, you know, Edward, I should put sunscreen on. In fact, uh, we were out at the park yesterday and I got a little sunburn. The first, oh, I'll tell you about this in a minute. I got a little sunburn yesterday in the park, the, uh, the park so. I know. Mike, when COVID's over, can we drink whiskey together and smoke cigars? We just might be able to do that. Hello, the nether. Oh, we got two people from the Netherlands. Say hello to each other. Um, yeah, so I nicked. I was, like I said earlier, if you didn't. Uh, oh, Kim, you, oh, you getting all that snow up there? Yeah, we had our little blizzard a few weeks ago. <laughs> hi, Oliver. Hi, Samuel. Everyone wants me to shave with the 1918 Gillette. And I'm not sure why. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to read off... Um, three people from the Netherlands. All right, and if you're in Germany, you say three like that, right? Three. Hamburg. Good to see you, Troy. Um, so what was I saying? I'm off track. I, I, I get to read these things and I and I and I lose. So Kim says the twig. Hello, Ben. Hello, Croatia. Uh, Ukraine. Polad Mamadov. Matthew Holmes. Go for the gold. Hanover. We Dutch people are diehard shavers. <laughs> I guess so. I've got some Danish blood in me, German, Danish, English, and I think that's about it. That's why I'm so pale and, and burn so easily. I'm a white boy. I'm a white, white, white boy. Yeah, I know. I haven't done a live shave in a long time. Hi, Ireland, Andrew, um, and Ali ba Al Ba just shaved. Okay, good, good, good. So anyway, so I have so many things on my plate to do and talk about. I've got like five razors I have to review. And I was just like, what am I gonna do? And it's a Monday, somebody's got a case of the Mondays. I was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna do a live one because it's fun. But look at that, we got almost 100 people in my bathroom right now. That is the most people that have ever been in my bathroom. So I'm glad you all could join me. There's 100, oh my gosh. Hello, Croatia, Hungary, and a lot of you are awake in the world, right? I mean, I know in Australia, it's probably next Thursday by now, but, uh, since it's not too late in Europe and uh, Croatia and the Netherlands, I'm glad you all could join me. So, I need to know what to shave with. I took a shower, I did my hair uh, on, on screen, live, I just did it. And uh, I need you to tell me, first of all, let's choose the razor, okay? So, here's one of the ones that I just received um, from Global Shave Club, the same people that made the fat guy. This was, is the, the red tip. Gillette. So he just started remaking these. So we can use this one if you want to. But I don't want to, I don't want to use this one necessarily because um, uh, I, I actually ordered a vintage red tip from 1957. So I want to compare the two. So we got the Black Beauty. We got the Gold uh, Fat Boy. We got the Normal Fat Boy. We got Grandpa Grungy. We got the Twig. We got the Murica Razor. We got the Rockwell. So, on the count of three, and I'm gonna count up, hopefully, everybody, which one of those do you want to see me shave with? Black Beauty, Gold Fat Boy, Normal Fat Boy, Grandpa Grungy, or any of the other ones? Okay, we got the Red Tip, we got two for the Grungy, we got the Twig, oh yeah, the Twig is available now if you wanna buy it. Gold Fat Boy, Black, we got Black Beauty, we got three Black Beauties, Grungies, Grungy, Gold, Twig, Twig, we're good. We got some Black Beauty, 
Gold fat guy. I don't have the fat guy in gold. Grungy. Oh, man. Okay. It seems to be. Here's the, here's the runners up. Okay. Let me get them out here. Carefully. We got the black beauty. We got the gold. Okay. Here's what we're going to choose from. Gold, grungy. All right. Here we go. We got the gold fat boy from 1958, I believe, the executive. Uh, I have tried a slant. That's what cut my finger. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Remind me. So we got the gold. We got the grungy. Grandpa grungy and we got the black beauty. So I'm going to mix these up down here. <laughs> okay. No, I'll, I'll let you choose. Which one? Black beauty, gold, or grungy? Black, gold, or grungy? Mm -hmm. Seen a lot of gold, black, gold, oh boy. Gold, twig, we're not doing twig, we're going grungy, gold. Man, it's either, okay. So I think, grungy or gold, okay, so we're, we're narrowing it down now. Black beauty is gone, even though there have been a lot of black beauties, there's been more for gold and grungy. Which one, gold or grungy? Gold or grungy? Gold, gold, grungy, gold, gold, grungy, grunge, gold. I gotta let this thing get grungy, and then I could use a boat. Gold, grungy, oh man. I could put Grandpa Grungy right here, and he could be part of the video, you know. He'd just be blocking me the whole time. That would be weird. Man, I'm th I'm seeing gold. I'm seeing, I mean, I'm, Grandpa Grungy, you can't go wrong. But I hardly ever shave with the gold. I like to keep it really clean. Can you see how shiny this thing is? All right, we're going with the gold, folks. We're going with the gold. Congratulations, gold, and that means I'm gonna have to clean it afterward because with this one, I do clean it every time. <laughs> half and half, someone said, maybe. Nah, I think we'll just stick with the gold. We'll just stick with the gold. Beautiful. I think I got this at an antique store for like 30 bucks. I lucked, this is like phew, 10 years ago or something. I don't even know, I don't know. It's gorgeous. All right, so we're going to put it on, I mean, this thing looks like it was bought yesterday. It's in such beautiful shape. We're gonna put it on six, you think? I think six. We'll put it on a six. We're going with the gold on a six. And should I, I'm gonna use a feather blade. That one I'm choosing. Oop, that's half of a feather blade. That's because I put the other half in the twig. Hold on. Let me get a new feather blade. Here's where they reside. And it's a blade bank too, see? Put your old ones in there. And then dispose of them properly, as properly as you can. Where's, no drink, I gotta go back to work. And I got to pick up the kids and all that stuff, so I can't uh, can't be drinking right now. 121 people watching me shave. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. 121 people in my bathroom. Thanks for being here. All right, here we go. We got the gold. We got the feather blade, and we got it set on six. Oh, look at that! It's a, it's a it's a work of art. It's a work of art. All right. Now, here's the four brushes we're gonna choose from. All right. Yeah, I got the La Bifana, James. I do. I don't want it anymore, so if you want it, I could send it to you eventually when, uh, you know, I start sending stuff out, because it's a great thing, but I, the, the scent isn't, isn't for me. All right, here's the choices. We're going with all signature except for the Jolly Rancher. Okay. We're going, we got the, uh, 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 the West Coast Shaving Jolly Rancher. We got the original Sinatra. Muhammad, good to see you. Nolan, and we got the uh, the new, the metal and, and wood one. It's kind of small. See how much smaller it is? Maybe it's too small. Might be a little too small, yeah. And then we got the uh, barber pole one. Which one do you want to do? Jolly Rancher? I'm seeing a lot of Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Rancher, I think the Jolly Rancher. New Sinatra, original Sinatra, Jolly Rancher. New metal. I know, I do like it, but I think it should be bigger. Like if you, if I hold all these up, you see the difference in sizes? Like it's the tiniest. It's 127 here, Aziz. What do you think? Classic Jolly Rancher. I think we're going Jolly Rancher. I'm making the audible, calling an audible. We're going Jolly Rancher. All right. I think this is how these things work. I know, you can't. we can't all, unfortunately, get exactly what we want every time. But I'm using the, uh, is this a 58 or a 59? We're going with the gold executive. Um, somebody look it up for me. It is D, D3. I think it's 58, right? I think it's a 58, if I'm not mistaken. 142 people in my bathroom. This is crazy. 145. Thank you all for being here. I knew this would be more fun. I was in one of those kind of, 
I don't, I wouldn't say depressed, but just mildly like, hmm, kind of moods. And you guys have already, already cheered me up. Uh, 58, thank you, 1958. So here's what we got so far. We got the 58. We got the Jolly Rancher. Now the all-important shaving soap. Now, since I'm using a brush, I'm not going to use Barbasol. I'm not going to use the vintage Barbasol. This is from the 40s. Or the menthol one from the 60s. So let's see. Um, so we got sterling iced pineapple. <clears throat> we got the space soap. We got soaps from Captain's Choice. We got Heritage Hill, Taylor of Old Bond Street. We got those. We got peppermint and almond. Uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. We got two of those. Arco. I, it's, Ross, I threw that away a long time ago. I couldn't, couldn't take. Cella. There you go. The oldest razor I own is from 1918. Let me, oh, let me get it out here. Iced pineapple, here's the 1918. Oops, let me show it to you like that. 1918 Gillette, peppermint and almond. I did do that one time, didn't I? That's because I'm ridiculous and silly. Cella, ooh, Cella, I don't know. I've tried the, the Williams mug soap, yes I have. I only tried it once. Verhulde Han, Thomas. Thomas, you sent that to me, right? The pineapple, the tobs for the wind, margaritas in the Arctic. Oh, man, I do. Donald, I need more wet-the-face shaving soaps. I have the cold fusion, and that's it, I think. It's down in here, but that's the only one I have. Dang it. But don't feel like you need to send me anything. I need to order it, okay? Um, I don't want a free ride on all this stuff. I get. Well, I don't have any Mitchell's wool fat. We got, okay, I'm seeing Cella. Okay, let me get these out, like I did with the other thing. We got Cella. We got Taylor Wool Bond Street. And we got Die Verhulte Hand. Am I saying that wrong? Hold on, hold on. I'm getting that Verhulte Hand. Here's the cold fusion. There's the soap. I showed the aftershave earlier. Right here at my fingertips. All right, folks. Cella, Taylor Old Bond Street, or Verhulte Hand? What do you think? I have still not tried the snake bite. I have still not tried uh, the snake bite. Cella, Cella, Cella. Barbasol, oh, I'm not, you, somebody wants me to use the, the Cella Cool aftershave that I, kills me every time. I'm seeing lots of Cella. I'm in the mood for Cella, let's go Cella. Let's go to Coachella. Come on everybody, let's go to Coachella. Here we go. All right, let me put this other stuff up. Clean as you go, as I said in the other video. Clean. As you go, no, Michael Esparza says no. Michael, you get to choose the aftershave. It's all you, buddy. You get to choose the aftershave. Michael, Michael Esparza, what aftershave am I gonna use? It's just for you, just for you. You haven't missed anything, Apoor, but I took a shower, I did my hair. Hey, Maury, Sirius X, hope you're doing well. La, la, la Toya, Angel? La Toya, La Toja, La Toya? We're going with the, here's what we're going with, folks. And Michael, I need to know what we're going to do for aftershave. Here we are with the Cella, the Jolly Rancher, and the Gold Executive 1958 Fat Boy with a feather blade in it. We got 149 people watching. We got people in Romania, in Spain. No, Michael es uh, Esparza, I believe, right? Is it? Uh, yeah, Michael Esparza. There we go. What are the choices again? Oh, you got to remember. You just got to remember. No. Okay, we got... <laughs> Well, we got this one because it's always here, the Foire Oxygen. We've got uh, Osage Rub, of course. We've got the Cella Cool, which kills me, the Cold Fusion. We got Barbasol. We got um, uh, Chiseled Face. We've got all those things. Did you, did you hear all those? All the way, Pakistan, Cremo. I don't have any Cremo, I gotta go buy some more. So is it La Toja or La Toya? Is that, I, I'm not sure how, Chella, oh, Michael. All right, Chella Cool it is. You wanna watch me suffer, I get it. You guys, you guys, I get it. This stuff kills me. I love the smell of this stuff, but it kills me. It burns. Oh, it smells so good. I wish I could drink it. Of course, it would probably burn my insides up. This is from Phoenix uh, Shaving, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And it's cherry scented. It's like cherry, la toja. All right, thank you. Uh, it, it's it's like cherry scented with baby powder as well. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Esparza has spoken. I am. I have spoken. This is the way. 
All right, we're going cello cool. We're going cello, we're going executive. I gotta put some hot water on my face now. I think this, my little Emesis Basin with the, uh, I gotta put the hot water in here. I think my wife, when we had our, our second child, Sana, you watch my vids almost every day? Well, that's cool, that's cool. I hope I don't bore you too much. I'm running the water, getting it hot, putting it in the Emesis Basin. And uh, girlfriend once took a shower, did my hair on a t-shirt. <laughs> I know, it's, people seem to like that. I'm not sure why. Ah, Philadelphia, you must be getting some snow up there, Frank. Uh, I took a shower. I did my hair earlier uh, on camera. So if you want to see it, how I did it with when I can't stick it up because it's too too long, I just put some mousse in it and combed it back. It's no big, no big surprise, no big uh, uh, mystery. All right. Let's do this, folks. All right. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you while I'm shaving what happened to my finger. It's nothing. It's just a tiny... Finland is here. How long is my hair? It's like, you know, it's not too long. It's longer than I like. Okay, I'm putting some, uh, I'm putting some hot water on my face. I did shave yesterday. I shaved with the uh, Replica Red Tip from Global Shaving Club, but I'll talk about that at another date when I get to compare it to a, to a, a real one, because I ordered a, a vintage one from the 50s. We got 153 people. That's great. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, I know I never really use pre-shave oil. Hardly ever. Okay. Let's get the Jolly Rancher wet. Get it down in there. Open up the cella. Crema de barba. Hello, Arizona. San Antonio. Good to see you. My mom born and raised down there. We were just down there a couple of weekends ago. We went on the mission trail. We hadn't done that in a while. Uh, my finger. I'll tell you in a minute. It's nothing. It's just a tiny nick, but... It, does, it is razor related. <laughs> Will I be running for president in 2024? Uh, I'm going to be running for vice president. So, uh, you know, Chrissy, thank you. I'm a hottie. Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> There's a reason I only film myself from, uh, the, you don't want to see a dad bod. You don't want to see a 50 year old man shaving. Just shoulders up is all you need to see. <laughs> but thank you anyway. I'll tell my wife. All right, here we go. No, I'm not running for anything. I would never be stupid enough to run for office. All right, so that's probably enough. This stuff works very well. It lasts a long time. You can get it anywhere. Barbasol, you know, I've got... Uh, uh, Barbasol has been very kind to me. I, I like all the people that I've uh, had, whatever limited uh, uh, conversations I've had with them, and they were very kind and sent me that, that big box of stuff and some other things. So thank you to the folks over at Barbasol. All right, here we go. Yeah, dad bod, dad jokes. <laughs> We're gonna lather up. You know what? As I'm doing this, oh, and I'm not really depressed, Edward. It was just kind of like, you know, you, it's that, as somebody once called it, the uh, undefined bummer kind of a mood. You're just like, ugh. I mean, I have everything in the world to be thankful for. And that's important to remember that when you are feeling, you know, Kind of funky. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna funk. Just a minor funk, nothing bad. I got I did some exercise. And I tell you, talking to y'all, it, it does help. I know, it's great. 168 people watching me shave. I'm so glad you all are here, it really is. Yeah, case of the Mondays, that's right. I didn't feel like doing like the normal, um, you know, just shave and upload. And I felt like that was gonna be, uh, you know, boring. So I wanted to reach out to y'all because I haven't done anything live in a long time. So I really appreciate all y'all for being here. And now it's time to shave. We got the, uh, if you weren't here earlier, you guys chose this one. We got the 58 and uh, yeah, feather blade and you stick it down here in the water so it get warm. What hair products do I use? I just use a uh, suave um, mousse and then hairspray to just kind of finish it off to keep it in place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I endorse them, uh, I endorse them uh, gladly, Barbasol. They don't have to pay me. Here we go, the first pass. Now, it's been a long time since I shaved with this executive razor, so I don't remember if I get nicks from it, but I'm going to try to try to do it carefully. No, I've never tried the Gillette Guard from India. Is that a new thing, or is it kind of like the Skin Guard that we have over here? It might be the same thing of a different name, perhaps? I'm not sure. But yes, I've lived in Texas my whole life, born and raised. Uh, my family uh, goes back to the uh, Texas Revolution before, in fact, about 30 years before. So I've got, my blood is deep in the soil of Texas. And uh, 
it would be hard for me to to leave this state. Now, what I was going to say was, can you hear the jazz music in the background? I put some 1920s jazz on because I didn't want to get a copyright strike, and I think a lot of the 1920s stuff might be... Good morning, Cassidy. Oh, yeah, Michael, I tried the Parker 99R. No, I don't really have an accent. I'm a voiceover guy, so I can't really... I can do accents, but I don't really have an accent, you know? How do I shave my upper lip properly? Very carefully. Just careful, just, just down. I just do it down. What I was going to say earlier is that this Chella soap, I've had it now for a couple of years. You're not late, Bart. This is just the first pass. We got it going on. Uh, yes, I love Frank Sinatra. Uh, the Chella soap, I'm noticing, is losing its smell. It's losing its smell. Yeah, it just doesn't smell as uh, as cherry y as, uh, as it has. And that will happen with shaving soaps. If you have them long enough, they will uh, uh, lose their scent. But it's great stuff still. It still foams up great. Might have to buy a new one. Might just have to buy a new one. Do I have a razor that I missed? No, I've still got all. Well, no, yeah, what was the one that Executive Shaving sent me? And then I sent it on to Andy over there, the opinionated Brit. That was a great razor. That was a great one. I kind of missed that one. So Andy, you go ahead, send that back. No, I'm just kidding. You keep it. How to do voice acting. Um, Eric, if you, the most important thing is not just having a good voice. Like a lot of people hear a deep voice. Hi, Norway. Aditya Sharma, I do remember you. Good to see you. Um, having a deep voice is good. That's a good base but you have to be able to use your voice and take direction, like acting, because voice acting, that's why they call it voice acting. <laughs> it's acting. You have to be able to say you're like doing a, a, a radio spot or a commercial for whatever, or an a, animation, or uh, you know, when I've done anime videos where we overdub in English, you have to be able to take direction. Like if they say, okay, could you do that again, but do it you know, a little slower or maybe a little bit more passion and that's where it comes in. So, Brummy, Chad, good to see you. Um, so yeah, if you have never done acting or never taken acting classes, you might want to take an acting class and then uh, look in your area for if they have voiceover classes because there's usually at least one person giving voiceover classes and uh, you can see it's right for you. Yeah. Tea and honey for my voice. I do a lot of scotch and nachos for my voice. <laughs> no. Uh, y yes, I have used tea. Yeah, I've gone into recording sessions uh, with hot tea because maybe I had a cold, but I use Mucinex. That helps a lot. It gets rid of a lot of that, that crud. So, do you suggest shaving armpits? If you want to, yeah, you can shave with a safety razor. What anime am I in? You know, the biggest one I'm in, the one I'm the most proud of that I love the most is Gachaman. It was, a, it was from the early 70s and we redubbed it in the early 2000s. And there's like a hundred, over a hundred episodes. So that was a lot of fun because I used to watch that when I was a kid. It was called Battle of the Planets. Recommendation for good jazz music? I just tell Alexa, play some classic jazz. And she usually brings up some cool stuff from the 50s, like, you know, Coltrane or uh, I love Vince Guaraldi, that kind of stuff. All right. But you just start saving mustaches as a 19-year-old. Yeah, if you've got scotch and nachos together, that's scotchos. Call them scotchos. But uh, yeah, all right, first pass is done, folks. And we're gonna go with the second one. Oh, somebody wanted me to sort of talk in a, like a sort of a Texas accent. And if I was gonna do, no, I don't normally do Texas accents because I don't have a Texas accent. But if I was gonna do one, like sort of a, just a mild one, it would be sort of like this. I can do, yeah, so. All right, second pass, folks, with the cella. Ah. Feeling good. You know, normally, Hamid, hello UK. I normally uh, listen to podcasts when I shave, actually. Very rarely do I listen to music. I listen to podcasts all the time. Do a challenge with shaving twice a day? Oh no, no, that would be too much. Even for my skin, which is pretty tough. Parasso Green, there you go, that's good stuff. Parasso makes a great, you know, you hear it all the time. Hello Boston, you getting some snow up there? Hello, Ala Masood. Good to see you, Satch, up there in Boston. So we had everybody. If you uh, just join me, uh, I don't really have a favorite podcast right now. 
Um, the one I was just listening to is called, what's it called? Taste Buds, where two guys, two comedians fight over what's better. Like today I was listening, what's better? Super salad. And then they got one coming up, what's better? Sausage or bacon? It's really throwaway fun. Um, Samuel Mayas, good to see you. Hello. What's the weather like in Texas? It's gorgeous today. Sunny and cool. Beautiful day. Hello, Canada. Bunga, bunga. <laughs> That's a funny one. Parasso Factory is near your city, only 20 kilometers. That's cool. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, where is Parasso based out of? Sorry, Kim. Shut up about the weather. This gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful sunny weather. I got a sunbird yesterday. Texas, baby. Welcome to Texas. Oh, thank you, Sweden. Bohan Mil Milojevic. My favorite Elvis song. Oh, man. I love All Shook Up because it started it all, right? But I love It's Now or Never. I like, the, I like the early stuff, and I like the big Vegas numbers, too. It's great. It's cool to see I've been in a few games. Yeah, I have. The two biggest games I've done uh, voices for are on the massive multiplayer online games for kids uh, called Pirate 101 and Wizard 101. Oh, yeah, Texans have slang, you know, like fixin' to. Like, oh, I'm fixing to go down there, or, you know, we say y'all, of course, but a lot of people say y'all, and I'm sure there's lots of others that I can't think of right off the top of my head. Do a New York accent? I don't really do a New York accent. You played Wizard 101? I was um, uh, uh, Cyrus Drake in that, the uh, professor of magic. So, I always talk like this. Oh, hello, wizard. What are you doing here? If you've ever played that. <laughs> what football team do I support? Houston Oilers. 1979 Houston Oilers. I'm very specific about my football team, and I mean American football. And actually, Austin is about to get a, uh, a soccer team, or footy team, or whatever. Super Bowl prediction. Well, you know, my wife's family is from the Kansas, uh, Kansas area, Kansas City area, so I'm gonna root for the Chiefs, but I really don't have a dog in the hunt. Look like a commander in the US Army. <laughs> Which one? Do you watch MMA? I don't. It gets that. It hurts too much to watch. Man, I watch. You know, I I I, sh I see little bits of it. And I'm like, oh, golly. Do I eat brisket every day? No, no, no. You don't want to do that. You don't want to eat brisket every day. I could eat Mexican food every day, just about. I'm using feather in here. Feather, feather. Uh, do a Chilman accent. I can't really do the Chilman accents. Yeah, I don't really do this. Even though I have German ancestry. <laughs> what I think about the Cleveland Browns, I, you know, from the little I know, I guess they did pretty well up to the end, right? So normally they're like, like I said, from the little I know, normally they're uh, 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 kind of like uh, a losing team, right? To, to put it mildly. All right, there's the second pass. But I prefer baseball if I had to uh, watch any game and play it, you know. I used to play... Uh, I used to play golf back when I was younger, but I haven't done that in a long time. But I ever played Dungeons and Dragons? You know, I wouldn't. Yeah, that was the worst German accent ever. I know, it's terrible. Because I, I tried it back when, it, you know, back when it was cool in the 80s, and I, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. I guess I'm not into swords and, and wizards and stuff. Yeah, I know, the Astros, yep, Astros. They had a bit of a rough patch recently, but yeah. I do love the Astros because I grew up in Houston. All right, there's two passes. We're doing well. Oh, see, see, Hoppy Mike like my German accent. Miss golf for the moment all closed up. What? Oh, no, I can't do an Australian accent. That's one of the ones I can't do. I can't do Scottish. I can't do Irish unless I'm doing like a leprechaun voice. Three passes, Edward. Three passes. We don't ever do four. I do, well, three and a half. Oh, you love bulls? At Golden Steel TV, did I ever tell you about when I met Michael Jordan and I was watching the bulls practice at their practice court at a health club in Chicago. Uh, yes, I was Oscar in Final Fantasy Unlimited, that's right. Um, yeah, so I got Michael Jackson's autograph in 1986, and it was the height of the Bulls' uh, fame. And we got to, my dad was, uh, was at a, uh, you know, he was a member of a health club in Chicago, and it just happened to be the club where the Bulls practiced. So we got to sit there and watch, it was fantastic. And Scottie Pippen wasn't very friendly though. He didn't, he didn't want to give anybody autographs. But Michael Jordan was very, very kind and I still have his autograph somewhere. Oh, uh, let's see. 
what did somebody say? Somebody, oh, the finger, the finger. I just nicked myself. Let me show you what I nicked myself on. So, like I said, I've got like five razors I need to do. Oh, I love the Beatles, of course. Somebody, wait, somebody asked something earlier and I wanted to address it, hold on. Oh, Canadian accent-y. No, I can't, so, sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Yes, Astroworld, that was my first job. I worked at Astroworld. And yes, I'm a huge fan. I was in a Beatles band for years and we still do a weekly Beatles thing. I met Chuck Berry too, I got his autograph. I went and saw him live here in town when he was still alive. And I waited backstage in the alley because I knew that he liked to drive himself in his own Cadillac from every gig to the hotel and waited for him out there. And he came out with his guitar. He put it in the trunk. He came, he sat down in the Cadillac, rolled down the window and then started signing autographs. So got, I got Chuck Berry's autograph too. <laughs> That's pretty, yes, I was in Blade of the Phantom Master. That's right. Um, I don't think I've been to the George Bush Library. I've been to the uh, 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 LBJ Library a million times. So anyway, I was, this is one of the Global Shave Club razors. It's this slant one, this crazy, I call it the four of hammer. It's got the biggest, I mean, it's got a silly looking head. It's got a silly looking head. And I was trying to take this piece of paper out to read it. And I forgot that I still had a blade in there. So it went and it just sliced me, sliced me. Not, not too bad, not too bad. It's just tiny, but I just put a bandaid on so it wouldn't bleed all over the place while you're watching me. So anyway, all right, third pass. My favorite John Lennon song? I love Don't Let Me Down, I don't know why. One of my favorites. All right. Yes, I did get to meet Sandra Bullock as well back in uh, 2001. That was a thrill of a lifetime because I had a huge crush on her. And she was just as cool and as playful as you would hope. You know how they always say, don't meet your heroes because they'll you know, disappoint you in some way? Uh, it was fantastic. She was great. She was playful and uh, she was almost flirty. I, know, I think she might have been. I was, I was young at the time. I was, uh, had longer hair. I was thinner. I was kind of better looking. It was in my prime. I think she kind of liked me. I think so. I think I might have been her type. <laughs> I could be wrong. All right. Ooh, I got one little nick. You see that? One little nick. But I think that's it so far. All right. Well, we're going to go. I did not propose to Sandra Bullock, no. So when you were a teenager, did your face break out? Yeah, I used to have bad um, acne on my chin and stuff. Yeah, that was long before I was married. Long before I was married. Long before I was married. I was single and ready to mingle. And Sandra, Sandy Bullock, as I call her Sandy, she was very nice. Very nice. All right. Come to India. Well, I'm not going anywhere right now, unfortunately, but hopefully soon, right? Dull the used razor age and put it in a can. Oh yeah, yeah, you can use, well, you can put it in here. This is the old feather thing. Stick it right in there. And I've also got that twig blade bank that they sent me. So I'm set for that stuff. I don't need a blade bank. George Costanza. How did I get rid of acne? I think I just, I used like whatever over the counter stuff, but I had a mild, it wasn't like a real bad one. Uh, I didn't need prescription medication. So just uh, age, uh, getting older and, um, and just using a little bit of Clearasil, I think, and just washing your face helped me. But you know, acne is a whole other thing. I can't really speak to because it's different for everybody. Sore knees is on his third pass. Uh oh, are we, are we racing? I'm on my third pass, but I'm trying to go slow. Uh, I don't talk about politics on this channel, so quit asking about Trump or Biden. I don't talk about that stuff. If you want to talk about that stuff, there's plenty of other people you can listen to. <laughs> Nobody comes here for my political views. There are some things you don't talk about, religion and politics. Keanu Reeves had a crush on Sandra Bullock. I'm sure he did. I mean, my God, well, as soon as I saw her in Speed, I had an instant crush on her too. Beautiful girl, beautiful woman. Yeah, the law. <laughs> I lost the acne and I gained the dad bod. That didn't happen until uh, you know my late forties, where I kind of started. You know, you get a little too comfortable and you start eating too much and having too many scotchos. <sighs> I need to get on a diet because this past, uh, you know, with, with the quarantine and everything, you know, I've been. We can't go out and do all the fun stuff you normally do to distract yourself. So what do you do? You you eat for comfort, right? I hate that about myself. I wish I wasn't like that, but. Unfortunately, I am. 
All right. Yeah, Edward, um, just maybe if you have real bad acne, you might want to use something like the Gillette Skin Guard. I know it's not a, a safety razor, but it, I think it's a pretty good, pretty mild razor that will help, I think. Thank you, Muhammad. You like the slot in the medicine cabinet? You know, I think this house uh, has one of those downstairs, but somebody put a new uh, medicine cabinet in, but I think it's probably behind there. So the wall, is, I'm sure, is probably full of old rusty razor blades. I'd love to find out sometime. What about Charlize Theron? Charlize Theron is one of the most beautiful women on the planet. I mean, just the essence of elegance and a movie star, right? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. She's not my type, but she is undeniably gorgeous. Good evening, Kusk. Good to see you. We're coming up on the end of the third pass here. And... Uh, Michael said, I have to use the Chella Cool, which is going to burn me bad. And I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm going to do it just because. I aim to please. Why not? Have a little fun, right? Okay, let's see. Do you like Lord of the Rings? I did. You know, I enjoyed reading it, <coughs> reading it and going through puberty. Uh, I enjoyed The Hobbit more when I was a kid. Marilyn Monroe, of course, gorgeous. No, he didn't choose the Osage part. He said he wanted to see me suffer. So I'm going with this. All right. Let me wash my face and prepare myself emotionally and physically for the burn that's a coming. Uh, from a woman's perspective, does my wife like when I'm clean shaven? Yeah, I think so. I think so. You knock off the razor edge before putting in the slot. Well, that's interesting. You know, I wish I could do a transatlantic accent. You know, like those old 1930s. I can do like the, uh, <laughs> I like to do the 1930s interview uh, with Mr. Lindbergh. Hello there, Mr. Lindbergh. So what do you think about that Atlantic crossing? Gee, that was swell. You know, that kind of stuff, I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm not the best shaver, I'm just a shaver. You know, I don't know about uh, brush knots. I just know that I like a brush when I have it. So I don't have like a preconceived notion of a certain size or anything. I just like synthetics, yeah. I do go to Round Rock Express games. We haven't been to one in a year, but yeah, we do. We love that. All right, ooh, this is smooth. You guys, this is so smooth. You know, I'd love to do a combined video with Ken Serves. Um, I don't know what we would do, but I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun. Uh, I do have his phone number. I could text him and say, hey, you have any ideas just for fun? But uh, he's seen, he, he really seems like, he's like almost, almost, I don't know, not like an uncle or something. He, we have so much in common, it would seem, as far as shaving and, uh, no, what happened to Tony Bennett? Tony Bennett didn't, he didn't pass away, did he? Guys, he said, did you? Oh, he's got out, oh no, that's, that might be worse. That's a, that's a terrible, terrible terrible disease and uh, well I, 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 I hope for the best for Tony and his family and uh, yeah that's just a terrible 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 disease and uh, yeah anyway good old Tony Bennett man he has lived his life well but uh, yeah oh <laughs> sorry about that you know what I have not I have dropped this Murica razor, this American made one, the one that's been, I need, still need to do the, the video on this. Um, I've dropped this like three times and it's still solid. It's like the baby Rockwell. It's like a smaller, solid baby Rockwell. And I like the fact that it's handmade in Pennsylvania. All right. Coulter Wall, I've never heard of him. Shooting from iPhone, no, I'm no, this is the iPhone 12. Aditya, this is the iPhone 12. I'm not shaving every day or once every two a day. Do you think it's dangerous on the skin? Uh, no, I don't think it, every day is fine. I do it almost every day. I wouldn't do it twice a day. I think that's a bit much. Maybe do a little bit of a touch up if you, um, you know, uh, like with an electric razor, if you just need to for some reason. I don't think you need to. So there you go. Roberto Lapani, and it's okay. You didn't miss anything except the whole shave, but you can always go back and uh, go back and watch the whole thing. I'm, I'm, kind of putting off using this, the aftershave, 
but I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's funny, Michael. The, a lot of people do like to shave right before bed. I guess it's a nice, you know, kind of clean, soft feeling against their pillow. Whew. Yeah, I'm stalling, Kim. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sirius X. Woo! Oh, this, that's the thing that kills me. I love the smell of this stuff. I love it. I'm not going to drink it. Should I drink it? Should I taste it? Wait, I'm going to... Hold on. Oh! Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> Kids, don't do that. I just tasted it with like a little drop on my finger and it burned my tongue the way it burns my dang face. <sighs> yeah, it's wood alcohol, Wayne. Oh my God, that would explain it. Oh yeah, yeah, what's in there? Yeah, it doesn't say don't drink it, but oh no, it does, external use only. <laughs> Sorry, Donald, I know, I, I am crazy. I, I just want to try it out, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Kusk, is it your birthday tomorrow? Happy early birthday. Wait, sorry, let me go back. Let me go back. Yes, Kusk. Happy upcoming birthday. All right. Imagine if it tasted amazing. Yeah, if you drink it, you probably go blind. Here we go. Oh. It's, it's like fire. It's not like, it's not like the normal uh, burn that you get from an alcohol-based uh, aftershave. It like, it's like fire. I don't know why that is. There must be something in it. Uh, but I love the smell. It's, it's, it's the pain, it's the pleasure in the pain. It's the dichotomy of that. Oh man. What is cameo? I'm not sure. Oh, cameo. That's that thing where you, uh, where you, <laughs> <laughs> Where you record something for someone, Chicken Head, good to see you. Cameo, yeah. If you want, my, if you want my cameo, let me know. I'll I'll send you a, a birthday cameo. Happy birthday for me, your favorite fifty-year-old shirtless shaver. Hey, I think the cello cleared up my little nicks though, because I don't see him. But oh, it smells nice. Hi, Joe. Good to see you. My birthday's in August, Muhammad. The cello probably is as much alcohol as an eau de toilette, probably Starlo dear. But uh, yeah. There we go. A 47 minute long, these are way longer than, uh, <laughs> if it doesn't burn, how do you know it's bad for you? Yeah, exactly. A good whiskey should burn just a little bit. Yeah, I'll, don't worry, Kim, I'll wash my hands before I go pee. Don't worry. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Edward. Happy February, that's right, it is February 1st. Tomorrow's Groundhog's Day. So if the groundhog sees his shadow, there'll be six more months of, <sighs> of all this that we've been going through. I don't have a favorite cigar. I don't, um, I do like the Tatuaje brand, Tattoo, Tatuaje. Hi, Willie, good to see you. Um, a la Masood, you're 39, you started using double-edged safety razor. Well, that's good, I'm glad, I'm glad that you liked it. What should I use to shave if I have sensitive skin? <sighs> use a very mild razor, uh, like a like a Merker 34C or the Gillette Skin Guard, which is a cartridge razor, but it's really, really mild and won't, hurt your skin badly. So, <sighs> did the Knicks come back? They kind of didn't. There's a little bit of a speck right there, but nothing too bad, nothing too bad. Hi, Chris. Hello, Egypt, Hussein over there in Egypt. Uh, yeah, I saw, if you go back, uh, Michael, if you look at my, on the porch, I, I smoke with a wooden pipe and some pipe tobacco, yeah. Aftershave name is Chella Cool from Phoenix Shaving. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Accoutrement. And Kim, I, st I still owe you the, the cutie. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't sent anything out. <laughs> oh, Sorny's got a bunch of nicks. Well, oh, Wes, you didn't really miss anything. I mean, you can go back and watch it. <laughs> Slovakia, your face is terrible. Well, next time, slow down just a little bit. Can you say, Cella crema de barba? Yes, of course. Cella crema de barba. <laughs> Luis Angel says, why do you shave on YouTube? That is the best question I've had all day. Why do I shave on YouTube? Because I'll tell you why. Because of all of you out there that interact with these. That's why. When I, when I came into this morning with this shave, um, I was like bummed out for no reason necessarily. No concrete reason. I, wasn't like, I was just like in a bad mood. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to shave. I don't want to... 
you know, I don't know what to do. I've got all these different things, you know, it's all these stupid things, right? Just dumb, dumb. But then I thought I'll make a live, I'll do a live video and I'll talk to all of y'all. Hello, Montreal. And, and that's why I'm doing it because of all of y'all, not for me, but because of y'all. And you did help me today. I mean, being on here and talking to everybody, even though I can't hear you, Bernie, good to see you. Crescent Cat, good. I'm glad I taught you. Um, 2011 was when I first did. I need to, this July will be my 10th anniversary of doing this. So I need to have a sit down where we watch my first couple of videos together and I'll commentate and uh, that kind of stuff. So anyway, so Luis Angel, that's why I shame on YouTube because of all the nice people that I've met, that I've interacted with, the companies that have interacted with me, sent me all these wonderful things to try and just being able to share all this stuff with you. That's why, even the pain, even the pain, that's why I do it. It's real simple. Plus I get a nice shave added at the end of the day. <sighs> well, it's been almost an hour. I have some more things I gotta go do. Mr. President, <laughs> yes, Mr. President of Shaving. So if you put a comment up as it goes by, I'll say your name as we leave, just, just so I could acknowledge that you were here. And uh, I wanna thank you all for joining me and I'll come back on Friday, Friday was with a, a recorded one. But uh, yeah, so Golden Steel TV, Neko Vaughn, Vanya Razvan, Dragula Hopkins, Sirius X, Tech with Style, XX, Kia, XX, O1, Elijah Garcia, Universal Exports, Golden Steel TV, Muhammad, oh my God, Bart Bartlett, Kusk, Old Meatball, <laughs> Chiramoshi, Joe Kramer, Aaron Scott, River Elijah's Croyle, Starlow Deer, Ross Keenum, Chair Bear, Chair, Share Bear Sparkalicious, Binary Oni, Michael Esparza, Dylan MS, Santa Sheik, Jim Moffat, Red, Alex Geld, Roberto Lapani, Chris Hamar, Wes B, Matthew Smith, Sana Sheik, Joan Delale, John Emerson, Willie Visser, Aditya Sharma, Alu Masood, Blue Master, Luke, Il Monko, Dagur Argustsen, Stefan Garcia, Michael Damish, Razorblade. Let's see. Chris Gora Sr., Roy Patterson, Aziz KH, Wayne Rowe, Tomislav Patek, Petak, Ayush Jain, Apurv Padye, Donald Youngner, of course, Edward Mejia, Dirty Harry, Paul Desmond, Samuel Ugra, Edwin L., Hoppin' Mike, Robert Coling, Sore Knees, and everybody out. That's the most, and that's all we're gonna do for today. Thanks for joining me, everyone. We had 180 people here at one point. That's fantastic. Thanks for uh, cheering me up. Thanks for making me feel better. And I hope you had a good time. And I hope you have a great week because I will see you all very soon.